Hello guys, how are you today? Is your heating on already? My it on today in studio, so I consider myself wealthy uh, at this moment, isn't it? It's only wealthy people can afford the uh, have heating on. Well, when I drag the backdrops, I anyway I have to have the heating on. So today I received something uh, in the post uh, from Pixapro. Uh, you might be noticed I'm selling a gutter bracket for the backdrops on my website. So Pixapro sent me one to actually review it and see how it works with my backdrops. It will be my own honest opinion how it works with my backdrops. It obviously works with other backdrops, but um, I never tried them with my actual backdrops. So we'll see how this works and um, what, how we can use it and if it's usable for, for you guys and if it will make your life easier. So as you may know, usually I'm using this Maffellini clamp or Candelini clamp or whichever way you call uh, for fixing my backdrops and uh, swapping them quickly. But Pixapro sent me this, so I'm really interested to try them, how they will work with my backdrops. So today I will uh, show you how, how this works and uh, we'll see if that works with my backdrops. So, yeah, keep, keep watching. Taking this off. For today's presentation or trial, I will use strong C-stand. And I think that could be used with uh, some lighter stands as well. So, I'm placing this bracket on the C-stand. You know what? It looks solid. So let's bring the backdrop and try to place the backdrop on it. So here we go. We have here two backdrops. They are in small size to try with uh, T-Bone Gutter backdrop holder from Pixar Pro. See how it works. Um, I would probably not advise to use this with the large backdrops, but with uh, small backdrops, they are ideal. The advice from me would be use this T-Bone Gutter backdrop holder with a smaller backdrop for the travel. And uh, for do that's basically for those who don't like them um, Maffellini clamps and stuff like this, because some people like them, some people don't. And Pixar Pro can move with very good idea with this uh, good set bone holder, you know. So, yeah, why not to try? And because we have two of them, I have two backdrops. So we'll see how what we can make with them and see how that would work. So we have two of them here. I will open one of them. One backdrop open to see how that will work. I assume we will need to open it fully. So that's a very interesting soft texture. Very warm gray backdrop. We're placing it now on the stand. As simple as that. Just place it on. That's it. Keep the stand slightly up. Here we go. So we have first backdrop on. So we have another one here. This one is a little bit darker, but I think uh, it doesn't matter because we're testing here a uh, T-bone backdrop holder. is not a backdrop itself. So for this proposal, the two will work nicely. So here we go. Placing the backdrop in the butcher and 
we have this slightly higher than another one to create a corner. So that's the thing. We can create with those gutters the same corners as we all like, you know. So um, what do you think, guys, about those holders? Do you think it's something uh, what you're going to be using on a daily basis or not? So I might be repeat myself, but I think that's the great solution for people uh, which like travel light for the headshot photographers. They look very professional. Uh, the uh, clamp is always on top on the backdrop and this is half a clean edge. So, and also the clamp might be sometimes is uh, for people who don't know in industry or the photography industry, they might look a little bit off for some people. So yeah, it depends what you like. I think the both solutions uh, have places here to use. And uh, I would certainly travel with this one. I think is easier to just place on it, you know, and it can, can be used on any C stand with actual this backdrop. Uh, it can be used with even very light stands because my backdrops are not very heavy. So uh, it's easy just to place on the gutter and have it like this. And yeah, you can make those beautiful corners as well if you buy two of them. Like that. Even you can push a little bit more like that. What do you think? I think it's a fantastic product. So thank you Pixar Pro for sending me them. Um, yeah, and if you want to buy one or two of them, uh, you can buy from my website or Pixar Pro website. It doesn't matter. I will put the link below and uh, you can buy them. Uh, I probably will repeat myself again. You can use them on any stand they really easy to use, they're really easy to set up. I'll show you again. <coughs> so as you can see, I just took it off the backdrop. And take it in a way. So that's the that's the Tibon Gutter, how it looks. Like that. And it can be mounted on any stand with half a speed. Up. So easy enough. I think it's weight about maybe a kilo. I don't know. What the package says on the weight is um, yeah so i've been right it's total weight 2.62 kilograms so i think the take a little bit of the pack of the weight of the package um, this will be like a one kilogram if you for example if you have a stand with the back you can place a couple of backdrops here inside like this so I think you will fit two of them here, easy. By the way, let's try. Let's try because I can take the, another one off. By the way, this one half a beautiful, creamy on the side as well. So yeah, all of them backdrops. Here we are. So two of them. Like this, you might even fit another one. Um, placing this into the bag with C-stand and that's your backdrops. That's it, so you don't need anything else. Which is, uh, I think, which is beautiful, isn't it? 
So yeah, um, link below to my website. Thank you, Pixar Pro. I think it's a great product. And I'll see you again.